Another big story tonight, a strange case for the LAPD. A West Hollywood man missing for more than a week wound up badly hurt in the hospital. He's not able to speak and no one knows how he got there. Tonight, KCAL 9's Juan Fernandez has new information from West Hollywood Live. Juan? Kent, this is a strange story indeed. We're talking about a man who had lived in this neighborhood for more than 10 years. He was familiar with these streets, comfortable walking down them, and it's where family believe he might have been attacked. When he wakes up, then he's the only one that can tell the story. For now, only Ramon Estrada knows what happened to him 10 nights ago after he left a West Hollywood bar, and he was only a few blocks from home. So he called me at 1.45 in the morning, and he asked me to open the door. And I opened the door, and I turned on the light, like normal, and about 3 in the morning, I called back, and his phone was dead. Estrada's partner tells me he called police and filed a missing persons report. All along, Estrada had been hospitalized at Cedars Sinai as a John Doe after someone found him unconscious, lying between two parked cars on Mansfield Avenue, just north of Santa Monica Boulevard. We've lived in this neighborhood for nine years. I can't believe this is happening to him, you know, and it's just very sad to see him in this condition. Family and friends have been by his side waiting for him to wake up. The injuries he sustained, a broken clavicle and brain injuries. Injuries consistent with being attacked, police say. Mario Ornelas is Ramon's brother. I mean, this has been really bad on my mom. She's totally heartbroken. From the time Estrada made the phone call to his partner to the time he was rushed to the hospital was just 25 minutes. The family hopes someone may have seen what did happen to him and will come forward. I wouldn't want this to happen to anybody else and have them, you know, go through what we're going. Estrada's partner tells me the family will be getting an update on do from doctors on his condition. In the meantime, they say they believe the only thing that was taken during this possible attack was his cell phone. We're live in Hollywood tonight. I'm Juan Fernandez, KCAL 9 News.